environment for Vietnam and support Vietnam to improve the environment and competitiveness of industries, increase labor productivity, build high quality infrastructure, and train human resources. I'm next on VOV, here's the world news. The two Koreas will hold working level military talks on Thursday to fine tune details of a comprehensive agreement to fresh out the military part of the April summit accord aimed at reducing border tensions and building mutual trust. The meeting will begin at 10 a.m. at Tonggilak, a North Korean controlled building in the truth village of Panmunjom within the demilitarized zone, separating the two Koreas. Pyongyang recently made the proposal for the talks, with Seoul accepted later. The two sides are expected to discuss a series of issues, such as withdrawing DMZ's guard post on a trial basis, carrying out a joint project to excavate Korean war remains in the buffer zone, and disarming the joint security area in Panmunjom. The European Union's General Court upheld on Thursday the bloc's sanctions against Russian banks and oil gas companies over their involvement in the turmoil in Ukraine. Could the General Court of the EU uphold restrictive measures adopted by the Council against a number of Russian banks and oil gas companies in connection with the crisis in Ukraine? The court said in a statement, the EU slapped sanctions on Russia after it next the Black Sea Peninsula crime from Kiev in 2014 and has since stepped up them as Moscow went on to back rebels fighting government troops in eastern Ukraine. The United Nations warns that the humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip is catastrophic due to a decades-long economic siege imposed by Israel on the densely populated Palestinian coastal enclave. The situation in Gaza is becoming less and less livable. Isabel Durant, the deputy head of the United Nations Development Agency, said on Wednesday, the report said that the widespread Israeli restrictions on the movement of people and goods, confiscation of land and natural resources, and the accelerating expansion of settlements were also damaging. Turn the news, the main points once again. Vietnam and Cuba pledged to strengthen bilateral ties. The World Economic Forum on ASEAN successfully concludes in Hanoi, and the two Koreas have working-level military talks. That's the news. the voice of Vietnam, here comes the current affairs. Despite fluctuations in the global economy, ASEAN is a success story of seizing opportunities and challenges to ensure stable, sustainable growth, said experts at the ongoing World Economic Forum on ASEAN in Hanoi. ASEAN is a bright spot for economic growth globally. Amid the fourth industrial revolution and a rapidly changing geopolitical environment, ASEAN countries, and Vietnam in particular, have devised their own response programs. With a population of 640 million and an economic scale of more than 2.7 trillion US dollars last year, ASEAN is now Asia's third largest economy. Regional countries have achieved impressive growth and made success stories. With a developing digital economy, growing number of internet and smartphone users, large useful population and rising education and income levels. ASEAN countries have successfully taken advantage of the fourth industrial revolution to boost their growth. Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said, The global economy is being fundamentally transformed by new and far-reaching breakthroughs in technologies. Businesses are changing the way they operate. Workers are using technology to become more productive. Customers are changing how they make their purchases. And markets are growing bigger and becoming increasingly integrated. Here in ASEAN, member states are in a good position to take advantage of the new opportunities that this 4IR can bring. 
ASEAN countries have worked out national and regional programs that use technology to boost their development, including a master plan for ASEAN IT until 2020, the 2017-2025 ASEAN Working Program on e-commerce, the 2016-2025 ASEAN Action Plan on Science, Technology and Innovation, and the 2025 Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity. At the national level, ASEAN countries have strengthened their capacity to respond to the Industrial Revolution 4.0 and promoted e-government, a national one-stop shop, initiative on connectivity, a smart city network, and uniform internet fees within ASEAN. Vietnam is among 11 economies with fast growth rates, 5% annually from 1996 to 2016. Vietnam is likely to make a success story in taking advantage of the Industrial Revolution 4.0, said Ms. Anu Madgakar, Deputy Director General for International Business Strategies of the McKinsey International Business Strategy Consultancy Group. Vietnam is actually one of those few countries, along with a few others, that over the last 10 to 15 years where we did have uh, you know, a lot of technology innovation. So the fourth industrial revolution is not necessarily uh, a discontinuous new thing. It is also a continuation of trends we've seen. And in the last 10 years or so, Vietnam is one of those few countries that in the manufacturing sector, for example, has managed to actually increase both manufacturing productivity, manufacturing share of GDP, and manufacturing jobs at a very, very healthy rate. WEF RCN 2018 draws attention to the fourth industrial revolution and creates opportunities for Vietnam to boost its cooperation. Mark Quoc Anh, president of the Hanoi Small and Medium Sized Enterprises, said. The forum focuses on the digital revolution and connectivity within ASEAN. Policymakers will develop policies to build an e-government and a digitized ASEAN community based on technology and human resources. The success of ASEAN startups will attract investment in technological innovation. ASEAN is developing appropriate policies to adapt to the fourth industrial revolution. It plans to empower enterprises, especially in the private sector, the backbone of the regional economy. ASEAN is upholding its solidarity flag, Lao Prime Minister Chang Lun Sisulis said at the forum, to achieve more success in the new period of competition. is the economy segment. The 14th Assembly of the Asian Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions, ASOSAI 14, will take place in Hanoi from next Wednesday, focusing on environmental pollution challenges. As the host of the four-day event, the State Audit of Vietnam has implemented many solutions in environmental auditing to meet practical requirements and to keep in line with international trends and practices. The 14th Assembly of the Asian Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions, or ASOSAI 14, to be held in Vietnam for the first time, is expected to attract 350 delegates from 46 members of the organization. The State Audit of Vietnam, or SAV, will chair the Assembly for its tenure until 2021 and will serve as a member of the event's governing board for three consecutive terms until 2024. Ho Duc Phuc, Auditor General of the State Audit of Vietnam, said the Assembly will contribute to strengthening the capacity of regional supreme state auditors. The Assembly is a venue for Vietnam to promote its image, people, culture and cooperation potential. It also offers an opportunity for SAV to prove its growth and prestige during the international integration process. It will help strengthen the solidarity of Asian Supreme Audit Institutions, increase the exchange of experience in auditing activities and coordinate to realize common targets, thus contributing to the Asian and world economy. The environment and sustainable development are of great importance to countries around the globe. 
In Vietnam, environmental issues have received ample attention in recent years. Much of the state budget and private resources have been invested in environmental protection. The urgent problem Vietnam now faces is the methods used to monitor and use those resources effectively. A symposium themed environmental audit for sustainable development will be held as part of the 14th assembly, demonstrating the organization's commitment to global efforts to achieve the UN's sustainable development goals or SDGs and solving environmental challenges. Mr. Fook noted that, as a member of the association's governing board, the SAV has established a working group on environmental auditing and piloted environmental audits. It has increased international cooperation in environmental auditing. The SAV has chosen environmental auditing for sustainable development as the theme of the 14th Associate Assembly because environmental issues are pivotal to the sustainable development of the Vietnamese economy and investment attraction. SAV will focus more on environmental audit activities in the future. In 2008, the SAV included environmental auditing in its action plan for implementing its development strategy until 2022. Discovery Vietnam Nong Pagoda in Dai Dung Khamen, Hung In Province, embodies the charm of Vietnamese culture. Located only 30 kilometers from Hanoi, the pagoda is a popular destination for pilgrims around Vietnam. Nong Pagoda was once a small temple nestled in a centuries-old pine forest. It underwent a major renovation in the 17th century to acquire the majestic look we see today. The pagoda adopted the typical architecture of ancient pagodas in the Red River Delta. It has a triple entry door and perfectly combines art, nature, and the inspiration of man. Just behind the main gate are two facing towers that enclose a giant drum and a large bell. An arched stone bridge leads to a pavilion dedicated to Quan Yin, the compassionate goddess, dressed in all white of the Buddhist culture. The pavilion sits like a huge lotus, the sacred emblem of Quan Yin, on a pond filled with water lilies and lotus flowers. Two nine-level copper lotus flowers stand a few.